In this clip, we will continue discussion on the variance. So in the previous uh, segment, we show that the variant of x. So we motivate the reason why we shall use this function as the variance. It's the function that look like this. So the, this is the mu. So it looks like that. Okay. So this is x plus mu square. Okay. So it's always be positive. Okay. And as move away from mu. Okay. And this form is intuitive when you look at the definition, but it's somehow difficult to use. And we show that uh, this form is equivalent to this. Okay. So we're going to use this form. Some, sometimes we're going to use this form, which is are easier to do with. Okay, so we show how to we will show how to compute the variant of the hat experiment. Okay, so recall the hat experiment. You have n people. Okay, they have hats, and uh, you put uh, the hat at the random uh, at the checkpoint, and then you get uh, everyone gets gets that uh, his her own uh, he get some hats back. And we want to count the random variable x to be the number of people who gets their own hat back. Okay, and we have computed that the expected value of x is one, right? Okay, so uh, we would like to compute the variance of x. Okay, so um, if we just trying to use the, the the follow the definition, so we have variance of x equals to expected value of x square minus the square of expected value. Okay, in this term we have already computed, so we need to compute this. Okay, but uh, how are we gonna be able to compute the expected value of x square? We can try to follow the definition of the expected value, right? So i i times the probability that x square equals i. So that's the definition. But then it would be very difficult to argue about this because um, the value of x squared might be like 4. And then it means like two people get their hat back. But then uh, uh, there are a lot of dependencies. So it would be hard to deal with that. So we're going to use the same technique over and over again. So we're going to define smaller random variables. So we're going to define xi for i equals 1 to n to be 1 if person i gets own hat back and to be 0 in other cases okay and we know that x equals the sum of xi right now we would like to plug this in into this term. So we would like to compute the expected value of x square. And that's equal to, uh, if we just put in this thing, so it's going to be expectation of the terms that looks like this. Okay, for each value of i. Okay, so. Um, if we work on this, you have to work on it uh, in the the practice, but then you can expand it out, and it's gonna look like. Okay, so um, let let me try to uh, show you the example with a uh, small value of n, right? So uh, the term would look like. Okay, so let's write it here. So it looks like x one plus x two plus x three times x one plus x3 right so what's the, the the product of this okay so you're gonna have uh, some of the term will look like x1 times x1 right x2 um, x2 and some and so on x3 and some will look like x1 times x2 right so x1 times x2 x1 times x3 and so on so th these are the terms that come out from this product. So these are usually called a self term, uh, you know, square term, and these are usually called the cross term. So if you do that here, you're gonna get that uh, this expectation will be uh, 
uh, will be there will be two parts one which are the uh, square term sorry I square and one which are the cross term so sum over i sum over j not equal to i of xi xj and you're taking the expected expectation over all this okay so you can use the linearity of expectation to split these two terms out so we are end up having to analyze one uh, 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 the terms in two forms one is the terms in this form and another is the term in the, this this form so we will we'll do that separately okay in the next slide okay so let's look at the square term first okay so it's the expected value of x i square right so uh, because this is just x i so we can just and it's just one random variable so we can just try to follow the definition so the x i the value of x i is is 1 or 0 so the value of x i square is going to be just 1 or 0 okay so it's going to be 0 square when x i is 0 so it's the probability of x i equals 0 plus they're going to be 1 square when x i is 1 okay so it turns out to be the same thing so the expected value of xi square is just the expected value of xi, right? So th this term is expected value of xi. And that's uh, 1 over n, right? The probability that a uh, person I get her or his hat back is 1 over n. Okay. So that's the first term. Another term is the cross term. It would, this cross term we get a little bit uh, difficult to deal with but not that bad so expected value of xi xj if you look at this uh, this can be uh, 1 or 0 right 0 or 1 this term is also 0 or 1 right so it's going to be 0 many times right if any of this uh, uh, random variable becomes 0 then uh, the terms become 0 right so it's going to be 0 with some probabilities right x x i equals zero or x j equals zero right? and then if it's going to be one only when both of them are one so it's going to be one when x i equals one and x j equals one okay and that's going to be true when uh, so when when is this gonna happen? So you have two people, I and J. They have to have their hats back. Okay. So what is this probability? Okay. So uh, how many ways can can this happen? So with probability one over n, this person has to have a hat back, right? And then, uh, and then, uh, out of, uh, so the, given that, that the person I has the hat back, what is the probability that this person J is going to have uh, her hat back? Is it going to be uh, 1 over N still? Is it 1 over N? Can you think about it? Okay. So the fact that uh, the probably that this this person gets her hat back, J, it's gonna be higher, right? Because one of the hat is gone and and it's not J's hat, right? So out of n minus one hat, right? J has to pick the right one. So the probability that J gets the right hat is this. So it's uh, one over n times n minus one. Okay, so this is, this is the the uh, probability that uh, uh, x and x and j got uh, the right hat back. Okay, so we can now plug it into the 
the expression for the variable random variable x the var variance of x okay so let's plug the, what we did into the the expression for expectation of x square okay so um, this is what we had already so uh, because of linearity of exp expectation because you use the linearity of expectation you can say that this is the sum of the expected value of the x i square plus this uh, sum for i and j equal to i of expected value of x i x j I forgot to say that uh, previously when we deal with expectation of xi, xj, i has to be not equal to j, right? Otherwise, we end up in this case, okay? So we plug them in. So we know that this is 1 over n. This is 1 over n. But how many of them do we have? So we have n of them, right? So, and then plus... Uh, this term we know that it's uh, 1 over n times n minus 1 and there are how many of them so there are n choices of n of i here and for each value of i you have n minus 1 value, value of j so it's i n times n minus 1 here and you can see that this is uh, 1 and this is again uh, uh, crossing out and you get 1 so this is just 2. Okay, so this term is 2, right? So let's plug it in into the definition of the variance of x. So we have that variance of x equals the expected value of x squared minus expected value of x squared. So expectation of the square of x minus the expectation of x squared, okay? So this is 2 from the previous thing. And we know that this is 1, so it's minus 1 square, so this 1. So the variance of x in case of the x equals the number of people who get their hats back is 1. Okay, just 1. So expected value of x is 1. And the variance of x is also 1. Okay. So the question of the at the end of this segment is that uh, there's another in, din, dinner experiment, okay? So you have to in the practice you have to compute the variance, okay? And then try to compare it with the variance of x that we have already compute, which is one, and see how how they are differ, right? All right. So um, I'll see you in some later clips. Bye. Thank you.